Hello, my name is Antonio Braga, uh, winemaker at SoGrap. I'm here to speak to you, talk a little bit with you about Mateus Rosé, the dry edition. Uh, Mateus, um, it's in fact the wine that started our company in 1942, uh, that brings us where we are now. Um, this wine that I have here is the, the, the last chapter of that evolution, the, the brand itself has been evolving throughout the years. This is the, the, the last chapter of it. It's the Matthews Rhine 2019 that we just launched in the United States. Of course, with the changes of time, the wine has been evolving, but always keeping the personality and character. So always keeping this freshness, the, this intensity. Uh, this consistency is quite important for us to be consistent ear on ear, so always delivering quality, never going back in that in that sense. And here in this case, uh, we just uh, look uh, for what the market was needing uh, in terms of rosé wines. Uh, we understood that we should go a little bit paler in terms of color, a little bit more elegant in terms of profile, of aromatic profile. Um, lower it uh, down the, the residual sugar and frame the acidity. So <clears throat> when you taste this wine you will feel right on top of everything the, the, the strawberry, the fresh strawberry, the, the cherry, the fresh cherry, all those fresh red fruits that will come, come on top of all the, the other aromas. The aromas are quite on the red fruit basically the back the backbone of the aromatics is, is red fruit fresh red fruit grape varieties here we're talking about um, basically Baga uh, a, gra a Portuguese grape variety from the center of Portugal uh, a little bit of Tinta Roriz which is the name that we in Portugal call to Tempranillo uh, we have it also a little bit of Syrah um, bringing the freshness of the of the red fruit to, 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 the, to the blend. And then in the in the mouthfeel we kept around 3.5 grams of, of residual sugar, natural residual sugar of this in this wine. Those 3.5 grams are integrating quite well the acidity that naturally our wines have but we wanted to frame it in, a, in an easy, understandable way. This is a wine for before meal consumption or even with some light food like salads or, or, or seafood or even some, some white meats. Um, in terms of wine making techniques, quite easy. We are just looking for the, the best grapes and the best wine making techniques to deliver this on and on uh, for our consumers. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.